Hey folks, Joe here with Geeks Worldwide, and this is the Lenovo Smart Clock Essential. This thing's only $50. It's, it's a clock, just like you remember growing up. We all had digital clocks lying around, right? But in addition to that, it also supports all of the Google Home functionality. It has somewhere around 40,000 compatible devices and over 5,000 brands that make up those 40,000 devices. So there's a lot going on here. And you've probably all heard it before. You just say the phrase, you know, H-E-Y, Google, and then all of a sudden you have access to those applications behind those 5,000 brands. So a couple of points to note first, the width of this device is 121 millimeters, the height 64 millimeters, and the length is 83. As far as the build goes, it has a very comfortable woven fabric on the top. It's really surrounding the majority of the device. And uh, the feet are made of rubber, very comfortable sound when you set it down. I've been moving this around my bedroom a lot, trying to figure out the best place for it. One of the really cool things is that at night, this display gets really dim. It doesn't turn off, so you can still see the time in the middle of the night, but at least it does dim down, which is really helpful. On the top, you have buttons for reducing the volume, increasing the volume, pausing or resuming your playback, and then that's for your alarm. On the back, very simple. Power input, a mute option, and then a, an option for a USB port. So there you can connect other devices such as a more powerful speaker if you wanted to do that. Now, in addition to this device, I have been running the standard Google Home for, boy, about two years now, and my use case is pretty straightforward. All I do is I pick up my phone and I stream whatever podcast I'm listening to, and then off I go. Now, sometimes I will just ask Google to play a song for me from YouTube Music, and it always works very well. There's a couple times there's been some issues, but generally speaking, it's been fine. Now, the difference between this and last year's Google Home Mini is, of course, the display, but also I'd say that the speakers are much stronger here on this device. Maybe not much stronger. I guess that's an exaggeration, but they do sound better. So it's a little bit cleaner, not as mushy as you can get on high volumes with the Google Home Mini, and overall, it's just a very good device. Now, it does support stuff like phone calls between you and your, your family if you want to do that. So hand-free calling, I believe they call it. But I haven't used it in that regard. I've really only used it for listening to music and asking some pretty innocuous questions. So, for example, hey Google, what is the temperature in New York City? The current temperature in New York City is 53 degrees. Hey Google, will it rain in California tomorrow? No, it won't rain tomorrow in Los Angeles. It It'll be sunny with a high of 88 and a low of 63. Hey Google, what's the latest in the news? Here's your afternoon news update. Your news update will have fresh stories picked just for you every time you ask to play the news. Hey Google, stop. First up. Very straightforward to use this device. And at $50, this is a perfect stocking stuffer. Definitely would recommend that if you don't have a smart device and you have some interest in at least getting started in the world of quote unquote home automation, this is a great way to go. I can control my my front door, my garage door, that type of thing from Google Home, uh, although I have not configured it. I, I mean, I configured it to test it with the Google Home Mini last year, but I haven't been haven't configured it here. I don't use that functionality. I prefer just to grab my phone and check the status uh, visually. Okay, hope you found this helpful and uh, let us know. I'll be sending this right back to Lenovo, so a big thank you to Lenovo for sending this for review. Sometimes Lenovo does let us keep things, and recently Lenovo gave us a Legion 5i gaming laptop that they specifically said we can give out to our community. There's a link in the description of this episode, so if you have a desire to enter for a chance to win that laptop, you can do so right now. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you on the next one.